two, ask for more than you expect to get in the negotiating process. Henry Kissinger, who, as you know, is Richard Nixon's Secretary of State, opened up China, changed the whole world for us doing that. He went so far as to say this, effectiveness at the bargaining table depends on your ability, that's how well you can do it, your ability to overstate your initial demands. Now, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? That's one of the top international negotiators of last century saying, I'll tell you up front, if you're going to negotiate with me, I'm going to ask for more than you will give me. But even though you know that, it's still a very good negotiating principle to follow. So I want you to give me some reasons now why it's a good idea for your salespeople to ask more for more than they expect to get. Why should they ask for this price even though they're absolutely convinced that they're not going to be able to get that much for it? Why should they ask that customer for a guarantee that they, you will get all of their business in future even though they don't think for a moment you can do that? In the bank. It got something to give away, right? It, it just makes it easier to get what you really want if you've got some negotiating room there. If you're selling, you can always go down. If you're buying, you can always go up, but you can't go the other way. A while back, my oldest son, Dwight, came to me, and he said, Dad, could I borrow the Corvette tonight? And I said, well, wait a minute, Dwight. That's a pretty fast car. I don't think I'd feel comfortable with you driving around all night in the Corvette. And he looked really disappointed, and he said, well, could I borrow the minivan then? I said, well, all right. I guess I don't have a problem with you borrowing the minivan. And I didn't think anything of it until half an hour later I looked down into the driveway. Now, Dwight plays bass guitar with this group. He's loading these huge loudspeakers into the back of the minivan. <laughs> thinking, wait a minute. He had no intention of borrowing the Corvette. He just knew I asked for more you expect to get. It makes it a lot easier to get what you really want. Give me, an, give me another reason. Say that again. Same answer? Okay. I want a positive thinker here. Martin, you're a positive thinker, aren't you? Positive? Yes, positive. Would you like me to speak English for you so you can understand me a little better? They may say yes. They may say yes. Very well done, Martin. <laughs> you just don't know how the universe is aligned on that particular day. I mean, God could be leaning over a cloud looking down at you and saying, look at Martin, he's been working so hard for so long now. Let's just give him a break. It could happen, and the only way you're going to find out is to ask. Okay, give me another reason for asking for more. What would be good about saying, oh, yeah, we charge more for this service than anybody else on the planet? You won't find anybody who will charge you this much value, right? Uh, if, you, if your salespeople are saying to your customers, well, this is less price, but for you, I'll do it for this, you're immediately discounting that perceived value. Leave that full number up there in writing if you possibly can. That's another uh, one of the seven keys to credibility. People believe what they see in writing, but they won't believe when they just hear it. Let it sink in as the true value. If you have to make any concessions, make them very reluctantly and make the other side work for them. Why do you think Henry Kishner is saying ask for more? in international negotiations. He wants to create a climate where the other side can have a win. If you go in with your very best proposal up front, there's no way that they can negotiate with you and have a win. And inexperienced negotiators always want to do this. This is your salesperson who's saying to you, look, I'm going out on this big proposal today. I know it's going to be competitive. They're talking to everybody else in town. Let me cut the price up front, otherwise we won't stand a chance of getting it. Experienced negotiators know the power of asking for more, reluctantly backing off of that position, servicing the perception that they won in the negotiation. So here again, we've got a very simple crystal, very easy to understand, but look at all the reasons for doing it. It gives you some room to negotiate, you said, which makes it easy to get what you really want. Martin said you might just get it, and the only way you're going to find out is to ask. It raises the perceived value of your product or service. Here's the key one for negotiators. It creates a climate where the other side can win, and here's another one. It prevents deadlocks when dealing with an egotistical person. Now, all I really mean by egotistical person is someone who is proud of their ability to negotiate. You've all met these people, right? They're horse traders from way back. They're going to negotiate with you. They're going to get a better deal from you, and if you don't give them room to have a win, the negotiations will deadlock on you. So, ask for more negotiations.